Now let's look at some principles here, amen, in the word of the Lord uh, concerning uh, the order of honor. This is vital. And this is going to challenge us today. It's like it always do, but it's going to challenge us today. And challenge our thinking. And I pray that we will ex accept it. Amen. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 25, the AMPC version. We want to kind of stay in this chapter. First um, Samuel chapter 2. If one man wrongs another, God will mediate for him. But if a man wrongs the Lord, who shall intercede for him? That's a question. Yet they did not listen to their father. This is Levi talking to his two sons that he made priests. And I want, as I'm sharing this, I want my family to listen to this that's operating in ministry in this church. Then I want the leadership of the house to listen to this. Then I want the leadership um, to look at this. Where is your mindset concerning the people that's been placed upon your authority? Everything is about honoring him. And there's an order to bring glory to him. Uh, are you hearing me? Now, let's look at the order. So he says here, go ahead. If a man wrongs another, God will mediate for him. But if a man wrongs the Lord, who will intercede for him? How can a man wrong the Lord? How can and how does a man wrongs the Lord? When you violate and touch his order, he's the one that established order because he created everything. In order for it to be successful, he said, do it this way. Okay, I created the sun, the moon, and the constellations. So therefore, in order for the sun, the moon, the constellation to stay in existence, it must follow the order of God. The sun must rise and set. Are you hearing me? So, so, so as long as it's doing that, it is bringing honor to the Lord. God is the one that created man. And gave men dominion, authority, and power to tread. Not, I'm, I'm quoting another scripture here. Gave them dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and over every creeping thing that creeped upon the face of the earth. That's the order of God. God made man, male and female. That's the order of God. So therefore, if I have, um, I'm born as a male, and I have male organs, but inside of my head, I feel like I'm a female, then that is demonic manipulation against the order of God. So if I change, then I am not bringing honor to God. And then if I come and aid you and assist you to make you Change the order of God, then I became an instrument in the hands of Satan because I'm in agreement with Satan and now I'm sinning against God. A man can sin against, you can sin against another man and, 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 and somebody can intercede for you, but if I sin against God, who? He said, who? Are, are you getting this? Getting this. So he says here, Yet his sons did not listen to their father. Y'all, I want y'all to look at the principle. This is beautiful. They did not listen to their father because God changed. Remember the word of the Lord last week? How God hardened Pharaoh's heart? Right here we see that God hardened their heart not to listen. Why? Because the scripture says, for it was the Lord's will to slay them. Repentance uh, 
is granted by God. So when people struggling to repent, it's because God haven't granted them to repent, to change. Because if they change, then God got to change their circumstances, the situation. Are, are, are you getting this? Amen. So uh, I'm sharing principles with you so you can understand how God thinks, how God operates. Amen. God can change my circumstances situation just like that. He can give me a heart to change my mind, change instantly. But if he don't, it's because he still wants me to be in this situation because he's still trying to teach me something and train me in the ways of God about something. To watch the rest of this powerful message, download Panorama's app, which is available in all app stores by searching Panorama Christian Center. Create an account to stay connected with Panorama Christian Center. One word from God will change your life. Blessings.